Hello, today we're going to be talking about division. Now, to do division, you have to understand a couple of key concepts which make division easy to do, both mentally and on paper. What you want to have is a grid that you lay down to start your problems in division, which looks like this here. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to put your number that you're going to be dividing by on the outside and numbers you're going to be dividing through on the inside. So let's say, for example, let's do 963 divided by 3. Put 3 on the outside. Now, this is going to be a bit counterintuitive to what you've seen before, but if you follow my steps, you'll see that this is going to be a great way to do this for the future. Now, watch. Ask the question of yourself. How many times does 3 go into 9? The answer, you write on top, of course, would be 3. Now, looking at the next number, 6, how many times does 3 go into 6? That would be 2. So you write that in. Very simple to do. Last one, how many times does 3 go into 3? Of course, that's a 1. So you write that down, and that's your answer. Nothing else to do but look, ask, and write down the answer. Now, you could do that mentally. Simple to do, right? You could have just said you know, 9, 6, 3 would have been 3, 2, 1, and you're done. Now, people might say that's too simple, but that's the way it is, okay? Why make it any harder? Let's take, for example, a number that is not divisible by 3. Let's use the same example, but change the last number. Let's do 3 divided into 962. Same thing, ask the question, how many times does 3 go into 9? Same thing, last time, it's going to be 3. Then ask the question, how many times does 3 go into 6? Again, simple, it's going to be 2. And this time, how many times does 3 go into 2? So we have a slight problem. Because it will not do that, so you say zero, and you write that down zero. But now, because you haven't quite answered the question, you need to put in a decimal point and then move the two into the next divide of the fraction and make it into a 20. Now, I ask the question how many times does three go into 20? And that's six. So you write that six down. But you're not quite done because you've only used a part of the 20. It was 18, you have 2 left over, and again, that 2 becomes 20 again, and you have another 6, okay? And the answer will be just a series of 6s rolling down, okay? So this will be a partial answer. You can continue on as long as you want because the answer will be 6s and 2 infinity. It's easy to do. Now, let's do one more example, okay? I want you to really understand how this works because it's really that simple. Let's do one here, and I'll write this out in real time for you. Let's take 572 divided by 5 this time, okay? So what do you do? You ask the question, okay? You say, how many times does 5 go into 5? Okay, and it's 1. So you write down a 1, and look at the 7. How many times does 5 go into 7? It's one time, with 2 left over. So now there's a 2 right there, so what you want to do, you want to write a small 2 on top of that 2, and so now you see it's going to be a 22. And how many times does 5 go into 22? It's 4 times, so you put down a 4. But the answer has 2 left over. That will go into the fractional portion of the answer. So what you want to do is you put a decimal point after the 4, like so, and then look at the 2 left over as 20, okay? So I'll just make this into a 20. And that's what you have mentally. You have a 20 right there. And how many times is, does uh, 5 go into 20? It's four times. And so that's going to be your answer. Okay. So the answer is right there and it's very simple. Now what you need to do, you need to take many examples of this to understand it. Because a lot of times people when they look at this, they say, it can't be that simple. It has to be something else I have to add or you know, do have some other steps. No, it's just that simple. Now, of course, these are examples that I'm using for one-digit numbers divided into three or more. You can do two-digit numbers divided, but right now I want you to learn the concept, okay? So I'm not going to go into those just at this time, but we're going to do that in a future video. But those are steps. They're just as easy to do that. And the most important thing is you have to be able to logically look at a number and break it down from the left to the right, okay? 
So please um, watch this video again. Send me any comments for suggestions. Matter of fact, this video was made from a suggestion I had from someone who was concerned about their ability to do division. So I'm very happy to address these because, like I said before, these videos are for you to learn to do math mentally, do on paper, but do it in an easier fashion. So again, thank you for watching and have a great day.